Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team play review slash is this player worth it type video. This is going to be a little bit of a different video compared to what I usually do. I usually obviously make them on the SPC cards that do come out, but I thought today I would make a video on this Jao Cancelo card and compare him to a lot of other right backs on the game and talk about why he is the best right back on the game. Of course, drop a comment down below, drop a like on the video as well, but uh, drop a comment down below whether you do think this guy is the best right back on the game. If you disagree, Agree, and you don't think he's the best right back on the game who do you think is the best right back on the game but yeah if you want to see more of these videos definitely drop a comment down below and I will make more of these videos on different cards that do come out for example we've got the league one team of the season next week so I could make a video on for example that Furland Mendy that is going to be getting an amazing team of the season card he has agreed to sign to Real Madrid of course it did come out yesterday so let me know if you do want to see those type of videos on my channel that'll be much appreciated if you do let me know but if you are new, make sure you do go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe as well. We're trying to get to 2,500 subscribers. We're at about 2,450, something like that. But yeah, we are grinding. I really appreciate your support. But without further ado, we will take a look at this Jao Cancelo card. Take a look at the price. Take a look at whether he is worth it for the price that he is on the market. Compare him to other right backs on the game, of course, and see whether he is the best. But taking a look at his card, of course, he's got 86 physicality with amazing the physical stats overall with obviously the amazing jumping stats the amazing um the amazing um stamina the amazing strength aggression obviously his defending is out of this world every single stat is in 80 or above so he is in the holy gang of course which is just an incredible thing to be in of course there's a lot of players out there that are in there now due to the way he ea do hand out ratings nowadays they have changed it in comparison to like 2014 15 16 it has changed a lot but this card genuinely is something else he's selling for about 700k on the market in my opinion the only downfall with this card is the high medium it's not too much of an issue of course Danny Alves a flashback is high low we are going to be comparing to that card very very shortly but the high medium in my opinion limits him a little bit because obviously he's going up the pitch and he's not getting back in time but he does have four star skill moves which is such a great stat to have on a right back of course he can get a bit carried away sometimes simply because he has got skill moves it makes you obviously do skill moves in the wrong positions and you don't want to do that obviously it's down to you to make that decision but obviously a right back if they're like six foot two six foot three in my opinion that's far too tall for a right back for example you've got that moon yeah for psg who's obviously got a great card as well but in my opinion he feels a bit clunky and feels a bit horrible on the ball because he is so tall he kind of suits a center back position more than right back but obviously six foot in my opinion is perfect for a right back he's going to win headers he ain't going to lose out much he literally is one of the best right backs in the world now he's grew so much this season getting so many informs as you can see all these informs that he does have different type of cards on the game but yeah, he's got 97 acceleration and 97 sprint speed as well. So he's extremely quick, which is so, so important on a right back. He's literally one of the quickest players on the game. And he has amazing defensive stats, amazing physicality, amazing dribbling, amazing passing. You name the stat, he pretty much has it apart from penalties and volleys. But you're not going to need that. He's even got 82 long shots, 99 shot power, 72 finishing. Overall, his stats really are incredible. Don't expect him to be scoring goals for you because that isn't what you're getting him for. But this guy, in my opinion, is the best right back on FIFA 19. He's selling for around the 720-730k mark. In my opinion, as the week does go on, he probably will drop a little bit. It's Thursday today, so tomorrow, the League 1 SBCs and the videos will be coming as the League 1 team this season does come out. I'm expecting Neymar, Mbappe, Lala, there's loads of insane players that are going to be coming out. So definitely stay tuned for that. But this Jao Cancelo card overall, about 720-730k, is a bargain in my opinion. But if you just take a look at this card, for example, this Munya card, a lot of people do like this guy in the game. He has got an Inform 84, of course, but in my opinion, because he is six foot three, it kind of limits him, and his agility is really low, 65. It really does limit him, and it makes him quite poor, in my opinion, in game, and he doesn't suit the right-back position. He's more of a CDM, of a centre-back, something like that. He just doesn't fit that position, in my opinion. But yeah, we're going to compare this Jal Cancelo to a lot of... Um, other cards that there are um, but as you can see these are all the other best right backs on FIFA 19 in my opinion drop a comment down below if I have missed anyone and who else you do think is a good right back of course in my opinion Lala team of the season for me 
I think his team this season will be the best right back on the game. So I will be making a video on that next week. Definitely comparing to a lot of the other cards on the game. But in my opinion, the 94 Cancelo probably will be a bit cheaper than the Lala. I think Lala will be the best right back on the game. Personally, up to the right now, I think this Lala is the best right back on FIFA 19. I've used him. I've used literally every single right back on this list here. I did have flashback Danny Alves. I submitted him to, into an SBC because I just don't really play the game much anymore. I don't enjoy playing it, so I just wanted to do the content to get some packs. But in my opinion, Lala is something else, and I think his team this season will genuinely be the difference between like quality and just class like genuinely like he, he really is very very good and i think he's probably will be the best right back on the game let me know in the comment section down below whether you do agree with that whether you do disagree but this cancelo card like i said is very very good comparing him to team with season kimmich um as you can see we can actually press that over that and the kimmich obviously he's got four better stats and cancelo's got two better stats so Obviously, Kimmich is a lot slower, in my opinion. Again, Kimmich kind of suits the centre mid position quite quite well. I feel like he's a bit wasted at right back. Obviously, he has high low attacking work rate, so he just isn't a right back, in my opinion. He gets far too high up the pitch and doesn't get back to cover it. He's five foot nine, which is quite short for a right back as well. In my opinion, Kimmich just is not the best right back on the game. I feel like there's so many other options, hence the reason why he's only selling for about 300k and Cancelo is selling for about 700k. I'm not sure why it isn't letting me view it. I think I picked the wrong card. But simply that reason, I would say Cancelo is a lot better at right back. I have a lot of arguments over my Instagram. Make sure you do check my Instagram out. It's McCartneyYT, literally the same way you spell my YouTube channel without the dash, but then YT. And yeah, do follow me over there. I did just hit 3,000 followers, so I really do appreciate that. Thank you all so much. It really means the world. But taking a look, Alexander Arnold's card. I think I picked the wrong one. It's a weird glitch with red inform, stuff like that. Alexander Arnold is selling for about 700k as well. So Cancelo is a little bit more expensive, as you can see. As this Alexander Arnold is selling for about 690, I'd say, around that mark, you can probably pick him up for. Um, and the Cancelo is about 720, 730. Comparing these two cards, of course, Alexander Arnold's got three better stats, and Cancelo's got three better stats. So it's three all on that. But obviously, Cancel uh, Alexander Arnold has the better defending. He's got less physical and less pace. But of course, a passing, a very, very important stat for a right back and also the dribbling is quite important Cancelo beats them on that they're extremely equal players everyone says oh Alexander Arnold's the best right back on the game but in my opinion, it's extremely close between these two cards. They're both high medium, which is an issue on both cards. Alexander Arnold's five foot eleven, Cancelo is six foot, so they're both extremely close for the height. They really are. Um, taking a look at. Of course, um, Dumfries here. A lot of people always say this guy's the best right back on the game as well. There's a lot of positives with this card, of course. He's extremely tall, six foot two. I know we're saying Munier is unusable at right back because he's six foot three, but Munier has 65 agility, and this Dumfries has 86 agility. So 86 agility and 96 pace on a six foot two player that's right back. In my opinion, that really is outstanding. As you can see, his defensive stats incredible as well. Overall, a genuinely incredible card. He is selling for around the 300k mark. In my opinion, he isn't on Cancelo or Alexander Arnold's levels, or he isn't on Lala's level when he does get his team of season card tomorrow. Um, so I personally would say it's between Cancelo, Alexander Arnold, and this new Lala that will be coming tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned. I will be making videos on Lala, stuff like that. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, as you all know. But pretty much, in my opinion, I'll say Cancelo is the best right back on the game. Let me know if you do agree with me. But comparing him to other right backs, for example, like his Danny Alves card, again, there's a lot of issues with Danny Alves that I personally didn't like. When he did come out, I felt I had to complete him simply because it's a flashback card and it's such a great card and we all know how good Danny Alves was back in the day. So that's one of the reasons why I did want to go ahead and complete his SPC. But taking a look, uh, of course, at his high-low and 5 foot 8 height, it's just, he isn't a right back for me. He's too short and the high low just puts me off so, so much. I just feel like he's always up the pitch and he never gets back. Like, literally never gets back, which is so frustrating for me. So, I just felt he'd, he wasn't a right back. So, I just do not think he's even close to comparing to any other of these players that are on this pitch right now for me. Um... But taking a look at Kyle Walker, he is high-high, of course, in my opinion. He really is up there. 
I probably would say he is the best right back on the game as well. Like, it's very, very close between him and these team of season cards. Obviously, Kyle Walker didn't get a team of season card, so it was a little bit different to compare. Um, it's simple as that, really. But if Kyle Walker did have a right back team of season card, then he would be up there comparing to these two cards. But obviously, Kyle Walker isn't upgraded. Upgraded, He's only 85 rated, and these cards are both 94. So I feel like it's only fair to say these two cards plus Lala is a lot better than Kyle Walker. That's just my opinion, though, of course. Let me know what you do think. But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed the video. This has been a video on Cancelo. I really hope it's been informative and you have learned that Cancelo is worth it and he is one of the best right backs on the game. Obviously, one of the great things you can do with this Cancelo is play, obviously, a different type of formation. So if I go to my actual squad um, quickly, my concept squad, because I did get rid of a lot of the players because I don't play this game anymore, as you all know. I've clicked on the wrong one again. Um, and this one here. So as you can see, if I did have Cancelo uh, in a right back, I could obviously work work the way out with Ronaldo. A lot of people do have Ronaldo. Uh, I spelt the name wrong now. Yeah, a lot of people do have Ronaldo, and you bring him back to centre mid. I used to do this all the time. I bring Ronaldo back to centre mid here. Uh, wrong button again. Yeah, so you just bring Ronaldo to centre mid. Obviously, he isn't in position there. I keep clicking on the wrong things. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's say we did use a 99. You've moved him back to centre mid. They get a perfect link. Obviously, you build the team from there. It's very, very simple. This Cancelo card is so, so desirable, in my opinion. He is one of the best right backs on the game. But definitely let me know what you do think. I really hope you are enjoying the videos. It means a lot. You all tuning, on, tuning in. Thank you all so much for watching. It really does mean the world. But I really hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like on the video. Also, shout out to Packy Bale. He is from Instagram. I appreciate him so much for making the thumbnails, stuff like that. You can see the new thumbnail on this video. It's very, very good. He's very talented. Make sure you do go ahead, drop a like on his content as well. And um, follow him on Instagram. It is P-A-C-Y Bale. So B-L B-A-L-E. So P-A-C-Y B-A-L-E. That's how you do spell it. Make sure you do drop him a follow, support him. I've really, it really does mean a lot, him helping me out. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this Jal Cancelo player review slash is this player worth it? If he is a better, I'm not sure what I'm going to title him. Is he the best right back on the game? But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and peace out.